Aloha and welcome to Restaurants Hawaii on Think Tech Hawaii. I am your host, Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of Hawaii Restaurant Association. And today I have two guests. So may I please have them introduce themselves? Richard, could you please introduce yourself? Yes, um, this is Richard C. And I'm the CEO of Hawaii Ro uh, Robotic and also the person of uh, HSL Group. Um, uh, I'm in the beef export business for HSL Group. And then we work with the slaughterhouse and also the feedlots and export the beef to Asia. And during the last couple of years, and I've been uh, working with a lot of restaurants in Asia, especially in China. And then I realized that they have a lot of uh, robots, um, you know, uh, helping their uh, service in their in cooking and also uh, delivery. So, and in the meantime, the feedlots, um, we have a, a super short uh, labor forces to help. Um, that's why I'm kind of working with the um, manufacturers in Asia to get into this uh, robot business. Very nice. And Gerald, could you please introduce yourself? Aloha, Cheryl. My name is Gerald Shintaku, and I'm the director of events here at Star Events. We're a division of Oahu Publications, Inc., and we put in a variety of shows throughout the year. This is by far our best show. This is our, my favorite show, the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show, which is coming up next week. Um, I'm actually running off after this because we're setting up for a career expo that we're having at the Blaisdell Center tomorrow. So we're going to find hundreds of people, hopefully some jobs. We do a senior expo. We do a home buyer show. We do a number of shows that are of interest to the, uh, the community here in Hawaii. But thank you for having me today, Cheryl. Oh, thanks for joining us, Gerald and Richard. So today we're giving all of our viewers a sneak peek of the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show, the official trade show of the Hawaii Restaurant Association, the Hawaii Hotel and Lodging, uh, the Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association, and Star Events. This trade show is free although it is only open to the food service and hospitality industry. Registration is highly recommended. In 2019, we had over 3,000 um, people registered, right, Gerald? Correct, Cheryl. It was a blast. It was our first show, and it was a hit. And how many actually attended at the end? Because 3,000 pre-registered, but we had over 3,000 in that room. Absolutely. We had a lot of people that walked in that day. I mean, like you said, we suggest people just pre-register so we can make you a nice badge and we can get a good count. Um, but yeah, a lot of people walk in and, and we encourage you to do that if you don't have time to pre-register. Yes. And the trade show is, is um, on, as Gerald said, March 30th and 31st, 2022 at the Hawaii Convention Center. And, you know, there's so much buzz. I have been receiving so many calls, Gerald, from everyone who's flying in. So tell us where some of the booths, some of them are flying in from different parts of the United States. I heard even Asia. Yeah, we actually have a company or two coming in from Tokyo, Japan. Um, you know, which is really exciting. You know, this year we've had so many new exhibitors show interest in our show and actually going to participate. They were so excited. As you mentioned, we have a bunch coming in from the mainland and then we have a good variety of people just here locally that want to service the hospitality industry and show off what their latest and greatest new product or services that they have. You know, it's wonderful. It's so exciting. And, you know, it was such a huge success, like you said, Gerald. And how I measure success is the feedback that I get from the people who had booths at the show, Gerald. You know, um, two weeks ago, I had a few um, speakers on this show. And one of them, you know, who basically said, Michael said, hey, I had some people on my list. I've been calling them, calling them, calling them, emailing them, never could connect with them. Well, guess what? I'm at the show, which we fondly call the HHRS, the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show. I was at HHRS and guess who walks up to my booth? The guy who I'm trying to get in touch with. Well, right then and there, he samples his food and places an order right there on the floor. So many deals were being done right there on the floor, which made it even more exciting. So that's why he was one of the first that signed up for a booth, Gerald. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, I just want to remind everybody, it's from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the 30th, which is a Wednesday. 
In fact, it's next Wednesday and yes. Thursday, nine to five. And actually, if you come early, we want you to come early. Um, UHA Insurance is actually hosting a continental breakfast from 8.30 in the morning. So if you come early, you can get a free cup of coffee and some Danish and fruits, kick off your day really strong. You're also gonna have some entertainment. Uh, to kind of get you in the mood before you even walk in the doors of the show. So come early, 8.30, it's open. Uh, we'll let you do that and then come in the show at, at, when it opens at nine o'clock. Thank you, Gerald. So Richard, I am so excited to hear all about what technology you're bringing to our show because this is your first, you know, first time being a, a participant in this show. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your products? Okay, yeah, we have five different robots uh, we'll present in the show, during the show. One is called Adam, which is um, it's a, a two hands uh, robot, so they can make coffees, um, hot coffee and cold coffees, and they also can make bubble teas. And uh, very soon they can also uh, get into the um, uh, cocktails and beers. So it will be very interesting to see, and you guys see the robot with dancing there. And then we have the restaurant delivery robots, so which can serve uh, different tables. And the duration of the robots can last for 12 to 14 hours without charging. So it's pretty much fit for any restaurant use uh, for lunch and dinner and everything. And then they can automatically go back to the charging point if the, the barriers is out of, out of barrier, you know, lower. And we also have a cooking machines, uh, which is can cook for 30 pounds, fried rice, beef, barley, and everything. So that will be another one. And also we have, a, um, we call it Dusty, which is uh, one charge can clean up 30,000 square uh, foot area. So it's perfect for hotels, convention centers, and also uh, school, you know, that type of uh, cleaning. And they can um, program it from room to room. You don't need to. So basically, you program the map, and they can just clean the whole floor by themselves. You know, um, we also have another um, interesting robots that can service for uh, provide hotel room service. So, for uh, for example, one customers call from a room and they want. A uh, couple of waters, and then the robots just can hop into the elevators and go to a different floors, and then deliver the, the um, you know, the bottled water to the customer. So we have a whole bunch of different robots and and present in the show. Yeah, I love it, Richard. I think I need them in my house. It can yeah. clean. It can cook. It can deliver. Oh my goodness! So you'll be actually having these robots in your in your booth, showing and demonstrating all of these things that you mentioned. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's that's so exciting. Well, on top of the products, Gerald, we also will be having seminars. So do you wanna, yeah, you want to touch base because education is so critical, you know, especially right now as we come out of this, we're, we're at the endemic. So can you share with us some of the seminars that people can look forward to attending? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Besides that over 200 booths that we'll have there, we have about 14 seminars. So we'll have seven seminars each day. They all last about 45 minutes. So it's just to keep your you know, get you engaged, pique your interest, and then you can always follow up with the speaker if you need more information. You know, we just don't want you to sit there and, and let it prolong, you know, the, uh, the topics. But we have topics that are, are very relevant to today's um, environment. Uh, you know, food safety is always big. So we have the Department of Health here. We have the Liquor Commission coming in to talk to folks about, you know, how to handle the beverages. Um, we have uh, discussions about the... Um, uh, housekeeping. So the Hawaii um, Lodging and Tourism Group will have their leader uh, on housekeeping talk about inventory control, uh, the evolution of food service. Our big sponsor, Cisco Hawaii, will be talking about the evolution of food service, not only here in Hawaii, but around the world. Um, we have a, 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 the Small Business Association will be coming in to talk about kickstarting your business in this post-pandemic time frame. You know, we did good up until the pandemic and then the, our world shifted. So these guys are going to bring up to date in terms of how do we cope with it now? 
Uh, we have a, you know, a, a, a career, in, not a career development type of topic, uh, how to manage worry, you know, manage worry, stress, all that stuff from um, uh, Dale Carnegie. Um, we have, you know, moving beyond masks and uh, vaccines. So a lot of very relevant topics, uh, again, coming post-pandemic, um, just to get people up to speed on how do you handle this? How do we cope with some of these changes? Gerald, you've done a fabulous job. Not only a sold out show, <laughs> terrific, terrific educational pieces, because as you mentioned, it's so vital to keep getting information. And, and I remember in 2019, I attended a few of them and there were so, the rooms were packed, standing room only. So it's, I'm looking forward to some of those educational seminars. Absolutely. Yeah, we also um, are going to be having, you know, both the HLTA and the HRA has educational foundations. So we'll be having silent auctions to support our nonprofit educational foundations. And these foundations are so critical because they um, support our workforce. They, you know, that we look towards the education foundation to keep educating our future workforce and our future leaders. So we'll be having two silent auctions. One HLTA will be manning and then one, the Hawaii Restaurant Association HRA will be manning. And we would like to invite anyone who would like to donate an item to the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation silent auction to contact me. And my email is info at hawaiirestaurant.org and we'll give you the instructions on how to send in your silent auction items. So Gerald was so kind to give us a space, right? Right, Gerald, we're having like a few tables. Absolutely, be right up front uh, so nobody can miss it. And then Cheryl, let me just add, because before people come down, you know, the big deal with any place you go is, oh, how much is parking? Well, Domino's Hawaii has been nice enough. They're going to sponsor our parking. So you come into the, uh, come to the show, you look for the Domino's booth and they'll take off $2 off your parking. So parking will only be $10 there and you can get a free sample of pizza while it lasts. So what a deal, besides looking at all the displays, seeing Richard's robots work in the back, um, you know, having a lot of um, you know, good knowledge, um, education, you also get $2 off parking. And again, you know, one of my favorite pizzas, Domino's Pizza. We love Domino's, you know, Domino's, their app is phenomenal. We just ordered Domino's, a shout out to Domino's. We just ordered Domino's on Friday night. And um, they have this app that shows you where the pizza is and who's baking it and where it is and it's out on delivery. It's just amazing. So shout out, thank you, mahalo to Domino's. And so yes, we'll have so many things going on. Gerald, you wanna talk a little bit about the no host Pauhana because you know being at the show all day, it, you know we all get to, in Get, get to meet each other, but really and truly after the show is when really the conversations start, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a big part of our show is the networking. You know, Cheryl, you talked about that example of how you saw somebody or met somebody at the show and you connected and there was a true business transaction. That's what our show is all about. It's about transacting business, not just going there to have a free drink or a free cocktail or, you know, food. It's about transacting. We want people to come in look at Richard's robots and say, you know what? I want two or three of them because it's going to help my business. It's going to help me be more efficient. So after the first day, after Wednesday, uh, we shut down at five. We'll transition into the lobby area and we'll just have a, a, a real small little pauhana there where people can network. Uh, we'll have a few little snacks and, and beverages there for people to, um, to partake of while, you know, while they're, again, networking with folks. But we've got so many activities going on at the show. Um, Cheryl, if I have a couple more minutes, can Please. I just expand on a couple of them? So, Please. you know, first, when you first walk in the door, Cisco is going to have 28 booths, 28 food booths there showing off the latest and greatest in, in technology and food. So uh, if you come and attend the show, you'll get to see that. We've got the Indonesian Trade Promotion Company of Los Angeles. So they're flying in a bunch of people uh, into our show. They've got about six booths where they're going to showcase some Indonesian furniture and some other products. And then you talk about education and being on trend, we've got a company called Vegco. It's a, a relatively new distributor here in the islands. And they're going to be showcasing their plant-based meats. You know, one of the latest trends, 
nowadays is getting into plant-based meats and foods. So they're going to have a few booths there in our show to sample people that want, are interested in that. Uh, and I just want to make sure that people know, I know we're, we're coming out of COVID and we're, we're you know, transitioning to potentially maskless. ABC Corporation is going to be setting up about 10 of these UVC lights throughout the hall. And these lights are about 98% efficient about killing bacteria and viruses in the air. Um, and then they'll also have a service where if you bring your phone, they have a wipe that can basically clean it, you know, so it's sanitary again. But our emphasis, again, is not only the education and, and sharing of product knowledge and services, but also that people have a safe environment to come to. Um, you know, when they come to the show. So it's really exciting. There's so much I can go on and on, Cheryl. I could probably talk for another three more hours, but my battery is going to run out pretty soon and I'm going to have to plug into Richard's, Richard's charger pretty soon. So I'll stop here. <laughs> well, Richard, Richard, is this going to be the first time in Hawaii that you are showcasing your robots? Well, yes, actually, the industry is very brand, it's kind of brand new in the US, though, you know, in general. So um, I give you some data. So before April 2020, we had zero restaurant delivery robot, zero. And December, by the end of December 2021, um, it sold 8,000 units. So, so less than a year and a half, just because of the pandemic. Uh, it created uh, over 100 million uh, market uh, humanity. And But you're thinking about, you see the comparison of the, the Asia data, like the China, every year, um, 150,000 uh, delivery robots being sold. So, so in US market, we only do 8,000 in one year. So it's a, it's a big gap on, you know, and catching up on that. And considering the the salary, you know, in you know in China, it's only six hundred to eight hundred dollars uh, per month so for majority of the waiters and waitresses. And in here, at least two thousand to three thousand, you know, there's a minimum for for the cost. So we can see the potential of it. So and also now, you if you go to like white castles and you know like uh, IHOPs and Dennis in maintenance. You're starting to seeing um, the um, the service robots, even the cooking robots. So I think in the island we're a little bit behind, but we gotta you know try to catch up. The you know it's a irrevocable change because just because of pandemic, you know the unmanded touch uh, requirements and all this um, forced the change uh, rapidly. You know? Nice, nice. Now, Gerald, can you touch on a little bit with our mandates being lifted? We don't need to have proof of vaccination to come to our show, correct? You're absolutely right, Shell. So the convention center notified us that, yep, you don't need a, you don't need test results. You don't need your vaccination card. Um, they're not going to take your temperature. So it's going to be a lot easier to come in. And then the masks will be optional. So depending on how you feel, um, you can either have them on or have them off. But yes, yeah, so the restrictions, but again, our emphasis is on making sure that this show is safe for everybody who attends. Very good. And um, two weeks ago, I had Pepsi on this show and they talked about the reusable bo uh, water bottles and you know the sustainability part of it because Hawaii Restaurant Association, you know, we're, we want to take care of our aina and, and really... Um, do what's best for our, our islands. So they talked about sustainability. Sustainability is going to be a big thread that goes through this show, right, Gerald? Because so many vendors are talking about it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. In our press release, we're encouraging everybody to bring their reusable water bottles. And everybody carries them nowadays because not only Pepsi with their technology will have you know some good tasting water for us to drink, uh, but there's other companies there that would also be they're encouraging people to reuse, you know, you know, reuse, uh, recycle, et cetera. We also have a lot of companies that are talking, are coming in about uh, sustainability. Sustainable uh, Island Products is a Hawaii-based distributor, and they're going to be showing off their eco-friendly, uh, compostable and recyclable um, um, single-use items. So, yeah, the theme is right on, Cheryl. It's all about taking care of our aina. 
Exactly. You know, Gerald, we're all born and raised here, our families, our children. So it's so important. You know, as Gerald knows, when I'm walking around, I've got that pink water bottle strapped to my shoulder. I'm always refilling my pink because I, I really don't want to create any more, you know, products in our landfill. Mm -hmm. so, now, Gerald, is there anything else I missed that I didn't speak about? Because, you know, the show go is going very quickly here. Is there anything else that we need to have Gerald mention before we wrap up the show? Well, I'd just like to say one more thing. So if on Wednesday, you know, our show opens on Wednesday at eight o'clock, but if you're in the neighborhood or you have some downtime, come a little early on Wednesday morning, we'll have a blessing. So we have uh, Kavu Kekuna coming to bless our show and bless all of us. We all need blessing because of all what we've gone through. And then we'll kick off the show with a nice, simple blessing. Uh, but I, I invite everybody or, and anybody to come at that time to uh, to check it out. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Now, Richard, before we close the show, because I want to give you an opportunity to invite everybody over to see those robots. I might take a few of them home with me, right? To clean, cook, <laughs> and deliver things, right? Is there anything you would like to say and invite people to your booth? Well, um, definitely, you know, like in a couple of years ago, it, the technology is still not uh, mature as the current and also the price is kind of high. But right now, pretty much uh, it's very affordable, the price. So pretty much one machine, like you have four to five months of salary, you will cover the cost. So the, the machine can last for at least five years. And then we have a support team in locally and we also have a tech support center in mainland to to do any, if you have any technical problems so we have also have a loaner program so if you have a so people are kind of worried that if i have a machine that i i lay off some more you know and less workers if something happened then my restaurant will get a coast but no you know if if something happened to a machine that we replace it right away and then you you'll be in business less than two hours so so you don't need to worry about that and then just come to the show enjoy it and then you know you see the coffee the robot dancing for you it will be fun and then uh, and then uh, you see it enjoy it come I love it. I love it, Richard. So the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show is the largest showcase of Hawaii's food service and hospitality industry. You know, this show connects the very best in our industry. And I'd like to please um, put out a request. Please pre-register. You know, it's going to be quicker for you. You don't have to stand in line, fill out a form. You just come into the convention center, pick up your pre-printed badge, and walk right in. I want to also invite all of the Hawaii Restaurant Association members to stop by the Hawaii Restaurant Association booth. Um, we have these ribbons that Gerald was so kindly gifted us. It says proud member of Hawaii Restaurant Association. You put the ribbon on your, your badge. Um, many of the um, different booths will recognize that. And then if you're a board director, you get also a ribbon saying that you are on the board of directors. So stop by the Hawaii Restaurant Association booth. It's always fun. Um, we also are going to be distributing our members um, window decals. We'll be laminating business cards so that when you travel, your business card will be in a little lamination. And um, we'll be just having a lot of fun in our booth. So again, March 30th and 31st um, the, at the Kauai Convention Center, we really invite everyone in our food service industry. This is not open to the public, it is a trade show. So we really encourage people who are in our, who support our industry also. People who support our industry, financial institutions, um, payroll companies, you know, all part of marketing, advertising companies, all part of the food service industry. So if you support anything to do with the food service, hospitality industry, you are invited to attend and it's free. So, Again, Hawaii Restaurant Association is Hawaii's restaurant and food service industry's voice. And again, I'm Cheryl Matsuoka, the executive director of HRA. Thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me. Aloha. 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 Thank, Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl.
Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.